Hi everyone. In this video, I will show you how to use the Cubase 14 score editor to create and edit simple scores. We'll cover the basics, fix common issues and customize the layout for a clean export. Let's get started. First of all, I recommend working with a copy of your original MIDI files. The reason is that it's easy to accidentally delete or change MIDI notes in the score editor. To be safe, always work with a copy. To open the score editor, press Command and R on your keyboard. I suggest having the score editor open in one window and the MIDI editor in another. If you have two monitors, that's even better. This setup makes it easier to work on your score because any notes you select in the MIDI editor will also be selected in the score editor. I also recommend working in the page mode, but not in the full screen mode, so you can immediately see how your score will look when you export it. You can switch to the page mode in the top left corner of the score editor. The score Cubase generates automatically is often a good starting point, but sometimes it places notes in the wrong staff. For example, all the notes that I played with my left hand should be in the lower staff, but Cubase placed some of the C notes in the upper staff. You can't just drag these notes down, so here's how to fix it. Select all the notes that are in the wrong staff, go back to the score editor and go to score, cross staff and move to staff below. Now the notes are correctly placed. If you have to do this often, I recommend setting up a shortcut for moving notes between staffs. Go to Edit Key Commands, search for Staff and create shortcuts for Move to Staff Below and Move to Staff Above. If you want to remove the instrument names at the start of each system, activate the zone in the upper right corner. Go to Settings, Staves and Systems. Disable staff labels on first and subsequent systems. If you feel like there isn't enough space between notes, go to Settings, Note Spacing and increase the default space value. Alternatively, set a fixed number of bars per system in Settings, Staves and Systems. To add a key signature, go to Symbols on the left, use the arrows to select your key and choose between Major and Minor. Click the key signature symbol once and place it at the beginning of the system. The key will apply to the entire score. To add a title, composer or other project information, go to Score, Score Settings, Project Information. Enter your title, lyricist, composer and copyright information. If you want to add this information later in a PDF editor, just leave these fields blank or replace the text with a space. To change fonts in your score, go to Score, Score Settings, Fonts. Choose a music font and a text font that you like. 
feel free to experiment until you find the right style for your score. If you don't want pedal lines to appear in your score, you can either delete them manually or go to Settings, Instrument and deselect the Pedal Lines option. You might notice light blue bar numbers in your score. They won't be printed, so you don't need to worry about them. However, the black bar numbers above each system will be printed. Unfortunately, I haven't found a way to disable them in Cubase yet. My workaround is to export the score and then use a white pencil tool in a PDF editor to paint over those numbers. To export your score, go to File, Export and PDF and then save the file somewhere. 